<笑>ギリシャの哲学者タレスが紀元前前に、えー、言ったように、えー、水はあ万物の源であるという,いうふうに、えー、私は信じている。I study quantum physics. I sometimes teach it. I've written a book on quantum physics and many books explicating the meaning of quantum physics. After my PhD from Harvard, I went to CERN, a European laboratory for particle research, but perhaps I'm best known for the discovery of the now famous N equals 1 locally supersymmetric flipped SU5 grand unified field theory. <laughs> Don't make the mistake of thinking that the scientific community is scientific.、Uh, <clears throat> 2 points. First of all, I want to thank David for、uh, healthy skepticism is important, and extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof.、Um, now, the problem is that people defending the conventional approach to consciousness, brain equals mind equals computer,、uh, behave as if they've got proof and we don't. And they got, okay, the part of m i n d Which formed the neural nets in the first place, which is what? The mind. What's the mind? The mind is,、eh, thank you. This is called divine intervention. From above. But he has feet of clay. I got involved with this because my evidence. I, no. Start over. Is <laughs> it? Okay. <laughs> I can go back and fix that. Okay. Okay.、Um, My name is Lynn McTaggart. I'm author of a book called The Field. I'm Dr. Daniel Monti. I'm a physician with specialty training in psychiatry and human behavior. I'm on the full time faculty at the Jefferson Medical College. I've heard some people say that you know, consciousness is this wonderful property in the universe that has a predilection for the human brain. If that's the case, then, then consciousness、uh, is about three pounds and, and looks a little bit like a gray cauliflower. Be sure to tell you a little about、uh, myself. Um, oh, the light is blinking already. See, this is what happens whenever I speak. Weird, <laughs> weird things happen. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, look, when I hold it, it stays on. What does that mean? All right. Oh, that's okay. Maybe God wants me to meet you. <laughs> Actually, we did this at a, at a conference when we asked people.、Uh, How many people have had a gut feeling and so on? And 80% of the people say. And then they say, among those of you who are very skeptical of unconventional claims, how many of you, meaning now like 30% of the audience who doesn't believe in any of this stuff, how many of you guys have had interesting gut feelings that turned out to be right? 80%. So when people are skeptical about unusual things, it's completely understandable because there's all kinds of nonsense out there. But when you bring those phenomena into the lab and you exclude all of the ordinary ways of understanding them, it turns out that they do have a psychic component. Here we are actually filming great thinkers. Everyone in this room is a great thinker. Now that we got them thinking, that's always a trick, isn't it? You probably have more to say about this. No. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Multiple personality disorder have to say about the seat of consciousness. And the second one is what made you want to become a physicist at the age of 50? Okay, well, I guess <laughs> multiple personality disorder. <laughs> I actually wanted to become a physicist as young as the age of four, believe it or not. As we become more and more inner self managed, okay, we will manifest the qualities of these deeper levels. Down the rabbit hole. And so we become a Qigong master where we can influence things from thousands of miles away. So if we begin to look at all that, it seems to me the only way out that I can understand is there is an intelligent presence. There is a kind of a one mindedness that I call it, or God, if you want to call it that. Ponder that for a while. <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> What are you gonna do with that? I'll bite! You took a bite out of nowhere! <laughs>